I mentioned Steve Southwick before mm -hmm. and the third. Um, so Steve calls himself an American folk singer. And I, you know, I, 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 we've written some songs together, and I, I, I ask him, well, how do I become an American? I want to be an American folk singer, too. I wanted to be one, too. What, what do I have to do to be an American folk singer? And he looks at me and he says, trains. You've got to write a song about me. Trains. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, great! I live in Queens. Well, uh, there's no Wabash Cannonball in Queens, but there is the International Express, which is the seven train. Now, Queens is the most culturally diverse county and the most culturally diverse city, and the seven train is arguably the most culturally diverse route Anyway, you know, everybody who lives alongside him becomes who's in the So I said, thought, okay, now what uh, what tune am I going to liberate for this song? We don't see it. So the Wabash Cannonball came to mind. She rolls from Flushing Station to the Times Square and the line. Underground and over Roosevelt, she makes it every time. Many stations, many languages, and you've got to be impressed with the world that is found all around the International Express. 400,000 riders get on her every day. From every corner of the earth, they come to work and play. A long train with 11 cars makes a short run with the nest. Everybody is somebody in the International Express. Now, a player will pull a rocker. He didn't like the folks that use a language other than the one he tells in jokes. Now, what makes a person do that? Ignorance, I guess. This train can teach him lots of things. The International Express. Before. It's got to be about a freight train. A freight train! Oh! <laughs>